Hello friends, I am Ayantika and in this video I will be discussing about class chytridiomycetes uh, of uh, fungi. Uh, this class chytridiomycetes is a uh, lower fungi class. Lower fungi are those fungi which are very primitive. They have their um, reproductive cells are motile and those fungi which do not have motile reproductive cells at any stage of their lives, they are the higher fungi like uh, the ascomycetes, the basidomycetes and the deuteromycetes. So in this video that is class chytridomycetes, it's a lower fungi and I am going to uh, discuss uh, the uh, general feature of chytridomycetes but uh, this is a pre-video uh, pre of uh, Synchytrium endobioticum. I have found in uh, most of the um, universities BSc syllabus they have this chytridomycetes Synchytrium endobioticum which causes blackwort disease of potato. So uh, that belongs to the class Chytridomycetes. So before I discuss the Synchytrium endobioticum, I will be discussing this class Chytridiomycetes. So uh, the Chytridiomycetes, they are uh, generally aquatic. I mean most of uh, the chytrates they are aquatic and uh, those that, uh, that are uh, aquatic are uh, mostly considered primitive fungi and those which are terrestrial are considered more advanced fungi. So uh, this uh, among the class chytridomycetes uh, they have majority they are aquatic. For example olpidium and uh, sometimes they are, uh, we can also find terrestrial species, but the terrestrial species also occur in very wet soil, in irrigated soil or soil near water bodies or um, mostly uh, in uh, cool weather. Uh, most of the fungi, they are present in the temperate uh, region. And a few uh, fungi are also found in the polar region and in the tropical region also. And uh, that uh, uh, Synchytrium endobioticum that we will be studying in the next video, it is, uh, it is, uh, it causes wart disease only in the uh, temperate region or cold climate region in the world because potato is grown all over the world, but only where the temperature is cool or during the winter season uh, in the tropical region do we find this type of diseases. So um, the Skytridiomycetes uh, whenever it is grown in terrestrial they are in wet uh, soil. But one char chief characteristic feature of this uh, fungi uh, class is that it can grow even in extreme cold and extreme pH. Now by extreme pH we mean that it can grow in extreme acidic as well as extreme um, basic soil. So the mode of nutrition is two types that is saprophytic that is uh, it uh, breaks down complex uh, matter uh, for example, lignin, cellulose that is present in the decaying uh, wood, decaying leaf litter or uh, humus. So, in the, those type of um, uh, things uh, are broken down uh, by this saprophytic fungi and uh, some species are also parasitic. They can be parasitic in animal as well as plant. Uh, one uh, good example of this parasitic species is Synchytrium endobioticum that causes blackwort. But it also causes various type of um, the class Chytridomycetes contain various type of fungi that causes a disease in human as well as other species. For example, the amphibian, the fishes. So, uh, the uh, fungi belonging to class Chytridiomycetes are cosmopolitan in distribution and they are mostly microscopic in size. But the chief characteristic feature of class Chytridiomycetes are that they have chitin and beta glucan in their cell wall. Now you must be um, wondering that all the fungi they contain chitin so what's, um, 
characteristic of this cryptomycetes uh, because uh, many uh, fungi for example the oomycetes they do not have um, chitin instead they have cellulose which is quite rare for the fungi but uh, so uh, considering that we can say that class cryptomycetes fungi they have chitin and beta glucan in their cell wall and no cellulose and uh, another chief feature is that the uh, reproductive cells they are uniflagellate by reproductive cells i mean the zoospores as well as the gametes we know that in lower fungi they has been character uh, categorized based on their number of uh, flagella and position of flagella for example in the uh, chytridiomycetes they have only one flagella that is posteriorly located that is ophistocon but in hypochytridiomycetes they have a anteriorly placed flagella in oomycetes they have two flagella and that also of different size and different um, type so uh, based on the position of insertion of flagella as well as number of flagella as well as the type of flagella they contain uh, lower fungi has been categorized so the characteristic feature of the chytridiomycetes uh, fungi is that they have uniflagellate reproductive cells and the flagella is v plus type and it is posteriorly inserted just here this this opisto cont when uh, when a flagella is posteriorly attached then it is called opisto cont and another chief feature is that uh, their uh, their uh, their zoospores they contain a nuclear cap at the anterior of the flagella and uh, uh, they have a basal mitochondria so if this is the um, uh, this is the spore and this is the flagella the nucleus will contain an anterior nuclear cap and a basal mitochondria and this will be the bleed ferroplast from which the flagella arises so the uh, um, the flagella will have lipid droplets in uh, huge uh, sorry the juice pore will have juice pore or the gametes they will have large amount of lipid droplets which are the reserve food matter in fungi so the lipid droplets in abundance and also uh, the septation is incomplete when the uh, the if uh, if it is a single cell then there is no condition of septation but it is if it is a hypha if it is a hypha then septation will form at the time of reproduction but the septation is also incomplete which means that there will be a central pore will be left in between the cells and this central pore will help in maintaining the protoplasmic continuity that will help in transport of food material as well as uh, the various organelles even transport of nuclei through the this central through this central pore which is not the case of higher algae uh, sorry higher fungi because uh, in um, basidiomycetes which is a uh, higher fungi they have a complex pore and organelle as well as the nucleus won't be able to pass from one cell to another in the basidiomycetes but that does not happen here in our uh, chytridiomycetes so in order chytridiomycetes there are two type of fungi uh, they are divided into primitive forms which are just have a single cell body to uh, to form which is intermediate that is they are formed of a single hypha for example monoblepharis and they can form a mycelial structure the mycelial structure and they this mycelial structure uh, they are considered more primitive form of uh, fungi
so based on this uh, there are two types of fungi uh, in the chytridiomycetes one where the entire uh, body is converted uh, is first gains uh, food um, uh, it gathers food it is in the growth phase that is a somatic phase and then the entire cell is converted to the reproductive unit in the uh, such type of uh, um, fungi they are called holocarpe that is where the somatic and the reproductive phase do not occur together for example synchytrium and olpidium but there are also advanced fungi in class chytridomycetes that are for example monoblepharis where both the phases can be seen to occur the reproductive and the um the reproductive as well as the uh, somatic phase can occur together they are called eucarpic and based on this they are the structure are for example uh, they if uh, if it is a somatic phase or sterile phase then it will be it can be just a unicellular uh, unicellular cell or it can be just a hypha or a mycelium so this uh, mycelium um during the uh, this uh, this uh, small unicellular thallus it, it is just unicellular but this mycelium they can have certain branched hair like structure called rhizoids that are the absorbing organ whether they are saprophytic or they are parasitic if they are saprophytic they have rhizo uh, this rhizoids and this type of uh, hyph uh, this type of structure this called the rhizomycelium that is mycelium containing the rhizoid so three type of somatic uh, stages we see very simple single celled and an um, intermediate that is the Uh, single hypha or very complex that is hypha branches ramifies in all direction and gets attached to the substratum to form the mycelium mycelium contain both rhizoid as well as the um, the uh, hypha and most of the time this hypha they are hidden this uh, mycelium is hidden away from the view and only when they reproduce they have aerial hypha and also uh, they are generally uh, unseptated but septation occur at the time of reproduction but certain uh, species can also have uh, septations at early stages also but generally it is or it uh, happens before the reproduction starts so this is how the sterile mycelium is and the fertile mycelium will contain septations and this uh, septations are incomplete as we know in the last uh, slide i discussed so um, this uh, fertile mycelium is uh, septate and they are just li just like the sterile mycelium they are also branched and they will contain rhizoid but one feature that distinguishes the sterile and fertile is that the fertile mycelium or mycelium in the reproductive stage will have aerial hypha so uh, if uh, this is the this is the uh, uh, mycelium that is present in the substratum that is growing uh, um, inside the substratum away from view they will have some aerial aerial hypha can aerial hypha will produce reproductive structures the sporangiospore for example here in the allomycetes we see that there is aerial hypha this is the sporangia and uh, this kind uh, the sporangia will contain motile juice spore the juice spore is motile mostly because uh, the Uh, the most of the uh, chytridiomycetes class chytridiomycetes fungi they are aquatic but even if uh, they are terrestrial they are found in wet soil so uh, the zoo spore is also uh, their reproductive spore in the asexual phase so in the sexual reproduction of the class chytridiomycetes they can be isogamous and isogamous 
or u gammas here i forgot to write an isogammas please include it but uh, their uh, fructification is very simple they do not have complex fructification like the um, ascomycetes for example agaricus uh, and uh, the asco and the basidomycetes they have a very complex uh, you see the toadstool the mushroom the polypores they are complex fructification but um, this uh, the reproductive organ uh, reproductive stages in the class chytridiomycetes are very simple and that is one of the characteristic of that of the lower fungi so uh, the after uh, the fusion of the gametes uh, after the plasmogamy uh, karyogamy is immediately followed and uh, after the immediate karyogamy that is the fusion of the uh nucleus uh, meiosis follows so there is no dikaryo phase so after uh, the gamete the gametes fused for example i am drawing it here so after the gametes they fuse after there is plasmogamy then what happens is that the fusion of the protoplast is called the plasmogamy so after there is plasmogamy soon there occurs the karyogamy and soon after the karyogamy are the meiosis so there is no dikaryo phase so there is no dikaryo phase that is the diploid phase in the last slide i was discussing about the asexual reproduction where um, a spore uh, the sporangium spore produced a lot of juice spores that were produced inside the sporangium spore and on dehiscence dehiscence of the sporangium spore the juice spore were liberated in the wet soil or water where they swim for certain time and on reaching uh, the substratum that is rich in organic matter in case of saprophyte or uh, substratum that contain host uh, plant in case of parasitic uh, chytridiomycetes they lose their flagella they develop a cell wall around them because juice spores were naked they did not have cell wall but after loss of flagella what happened is that they uh, secreted a wall around them and undergoes a period of rest then after the period of rest what it, it does is that it produces puts forth a germ tube which can be also called infection peg and uh, it it um, starts growing into a mycelium and after that it might infect the root of the host plant or live in the soil or water if it is a saprophytic species it is uh, this is how the asexual reproduction work now about the sexual reproduction it is three types it can be it is mostly planogametic uh, copulation these are the planogametes it can be of three types that is the isoplanogametes that are of equal size then we can have the anisoplanogametes um, anisoplanogametes they have of different size and also another is that the oplanogametic where the sex organ are of different size and shape uh, the male sex organ that is the anthridium it looks uh, it uh, looks much slender and uh, than the ugonium which can be which can be much larger in size than the uh, anthridium and these process uh, motile gametes mainly the male gamete is more motile than the female and that is the characteristic feature of oplanogametic copulation where the male gamete is more uh, much more uh, it uh, the male gamete is more motile than the female gamete and female gamete loses motility after certain time so this type three types of plan uh, um, planogametes that is the isoplanogamete and isoplanogamete and oplanogametes uh, they cop uh, they copulate that is uh, they uh, fuse and produces a zygote 
and in this way uh, the zygote undergoes uh, meiotic division and uh, uh, then uh, the spores are uh, produced and and in this way the entire life cycle continues so i uh, have given the example this isoplanogametes they are produced by olpidium species and anisoplanogametes by allomycete species and oplanogametic copulation in occurs in monoplevaris economic importance by economic importance when we study fungi we describe fungi as either harmful or fungi that are beneficial for us so uh, the most of the fungi they are the skytridomycetes fungi they are saprobic and which means that uh, they decompose uh, the organic matter that is for example cell pollen the cellulose in the wall of uh, cell wall of dead uh, dead wood dead uh, leaf litter so they, they uh, say they decompose the cellulose the the chitin and the keratin so these complex matters they are broken down into simple form and thus they help in nutrient cycling they help in um, breaking down the complex uh, matter and release nutrient in the uh, soil uh, in the so uh, in the soil and that nutrient is later used by the plants so this is one of the beneficial effect also apart from that many type of acids are also produced by fungi but uh, here we are going to discuss mostly on parasitic chytridiomycetes uh, chytridiomycetes they parasitize on both prokaryotic and eukaryotic organism and they can um, they can uh, they can uh, damage they can be parasitic on even uh, microscopic organisms for example this marine diatoms which are uh, marine algae and uh, the skytrids they they uh, they feed on they uh, parasitize on these marine diatoms which are microscopic as well as there are also many chytrids for example uh, this chytrid which is parasitizing on amphibians and uh, not only uh, just uh, frogs but also salamanders so there are also uh, not only they are affecting the our crop plants but also they affect various uh, other species from algae to uh, this uh, amphibians and for human they causes many crop loss by this blackwort disease of potato brown spot of maize and cornwort of alfalfa all these are caused by uh, fungi belonging to class chytridae mycetes and another is that uh, sometime this uh, chytridiomycetes fungi also is parasitized by other type of fungi for example these fungi these three fungi they um, they parasitize on this allomyces the allomyces is a chytridiomycete that is class chytridiomycete fungi and it is itself getting parasitized or play host to other form of fungi so um, one thing is that they causes crop loss and they cause uh, uh, they cause uh, death and uh, loss in uh, not only human but also other species algae and amphibians so these are the so this is the classification of class chytridomycetes and my next video will be on synchytrium endobioticum which belonged to order chytridiales and family chytridiaceae so uh, the next video synchytrium endobioticum i will be discussing order chytridiales the uh, the synchytrium endobioticum belong to order chytridiomycetes so with this i end my video of um, 
the overview of uh, class cartridiomyces. Uh, this is the, just an introductory video because uh, if I jump to Syncytrium endobioticum, then you won't be able to get what type of fungi it is. It is a primitive type of fungi. It is a lower fungi. And so to in order to understand more about the uh, Syncytrium, just it, this is just an introductory video so i have made other videos also about uh, many other type of fungi all the links that i have put in the description box and i am covering uh, many uh, many universities so where i am uh, mainly focusing on bsc and msc based videos and the next video in this series of uh, fungi i will have uh, is Syncytrium endobioticum. So thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, do share it with your friends because uh, more you share, more uh, my videos will get uh, views. And uh, if you like, do subscribe and also your subscription will help me. And thank you for watching this video.